We are here today in the spirit of Christmas. We are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. I'll take it from the book of Luke. Chapter 2 verse 7 tells us, And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloth, and laid him in the manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. She wrapped him in swaddling cloth. This was God's wrapped gift to mankind, to all of us. It was gift wrapped. God has given us a lot of gifts, but sometimes we don't even recognize the gifts God has given us. The other day I lay in bed and I thought, I just attended a funeral, and I said, even if you have a billion dollars sitting in your bank account and you are about to die, can you buy that life with that billion dollars? No. It means the life God has given you is worth more than a billion dollars. You are a walking billionaire, but you don't know it. You are so sick. You will give every money you have in your bank account just to be well. So if you are walking healthy, you are worth more than a billion dollars. If you cannot see or walk, you will give everything to be able to see. So if you can see, you are worth more than a billion dollars. So God has given us so many gifts. And for Ghana, God has gift wrapped the peace and stability of this country to us. It is something we don't we take for granted, but it's something we should cherish. God has given it to us. We have peace and stability. Heads of states come to Ghana and they always ask, why is it that Ghana is so different from other African countries? And we say that we in Ghana, we respect each other. Regardless of our religions, regardless of our tribe, regardless of our political affiliation, we to respect each other. And that is how we Ghana should be. So for us, in positions of authority, we have to recognize we are only there by the grace of God and to serve the will of the people. That is all. That is all. We are there temporarily, temporarily to do the will of God, which is the will of the people. That is all. And so I'm here to bring you Christmas greetings from His Excellency the President Nana Adodankwa Akufuado. He has said to convey to you that the battle is still the Lord's. And you should continue to pray for him, his government, all of us, so that we can do God's will in our term in office. Ah.